If you haven't watched my video called How Charlatans Work, please listen to that video before continuing listening to this video. Thank you very much. All right. I want to address mega churches and multinational corporations in a different daylight. A lot of people are upset with mega churches because they're preaching false gospels just to make money off the people, which is true. And there are people, people complaining about multinational corporations that are exploiting their workers as well as offering products that won't last. One thing I've not seen yet is anyone addressing the obvious, namely that mega churches and multinational corporations are charlatans. They are corporate charlatans. A corporate charlatan is an organization that seeks to gain a leverage over you and they have the aim never to let you go. That is a corporate charlatan. Now, we know what an individual charlatan is. Someone that uses trickery to get an advantage over you. They use the dysfunction in you or the dysfunction in your community that has not been addressed and they trigger that dysfunction to gain power over you. And once they gain power over you, you're not aware of it yourself. And they keep you there to make themselves psychologically secure or to gain something out of you they otherwise wouldn't have gotten unless they had it leverage over you. I've addressed that before. Now I'm addressing corporate charlatans. A corporate charlatan, as I explained, is an organization that seeks to gain power over you and that's their sole purpose to gain power over you. But they will never tell you that their whole purpose is to gain power over you because then you would run away. You would think, why do those people want power over me? They want power over you to make themselves relevant. Just like with an individual charlatan out there, a corporate charlatan wants to be relevant. And the way they gain relevancy is by gaining power over you. So they are tricking you into trusting them. And this distrust that pushes you to invest in them. And the more you invest in them, the more emotionally and psychologically tied you become with them. And it's this attachment to them that's a leverage over you. And because you invested in this social tie, because of this, you will likely never revisit your attitude. Because you've invested, you will always seek to defend your investment, even when it's proven that you have been tricked. Now, the difference between government and corporate charlatans is that with the government, it's obvious they want to have power over you. They use symbols, they use satanic methods, like um, kidnapping you, which you call arresting you. They use those pagan courthouses where, where they dress in black and white. Uh, they use prisons. Uh, so with the government, it's obvious they want power over you. And that's their claim. They're entitled to have power over you. They come with things as taxes. If you don't give them the taxes, they, they feel entitled to harm you. So with government, you know that they want power over you. And the whole institution is based on maintaining their power over you. The government seeks to justify why they want power over you. But you can see that's all about having power over you. It's way too obvious. A drug cartel or the mafia also seeks to have power but their power is more related to their own survival. And because the mafia or some criminal organization is all about their survival, their aim is not to have power over you, their aim is just to have a leverage in the environment. That's different. And you can escape this leverage. You can. The difference with a criminal organization and the government is the government's sole purpose is to retain power over you. And they're open in, in, in being entitled to it. Now, they're not entitled, but according to the government, they're entitled to it, and they act as if they are entitled. And you're told that they have a right to do that. 
So the government is not a charlatan. Why? Because it's obvious they have a satanic claim over you. It's a satanic claim because the claim doesn't add up. Criminal organizations just want to have a leverage in the environment, just for survival's sake. A corporate charlatan, as I mentioned before, they just want power over you. Because they just need to be relevant. So, this is how a corporate charlatan does it. It's, and it doesn't differ that much from an individual charlatan. A corporate charlatan, they will highlight a problem or some dysfunction in a community. For example, uh, uh, human trafficking, prostitution, uh, drug addiction, or domestic violence, or just a lot of trash on the streets. They will highlight some problem or dysfunction of the community. At first, people are going to be upset they mention this, but then they point out something needs to be done about this. And people agree. And then that same, corp that same corporation or the same church or the same organization, and, and the same organization then offers a product. That product can be a service that they offer to you, whether you're getting a massage or you're going to watch a movie, or it can be an actual physical product like a computer or a smartphone, or it can be... Um, some event, like go to a concert or you go out for dinner, they offer you a product. And they offer a product and they promote their own product. And they'll even give false reviews to appear like many people like their product. They will fake as if so many people want their product. And because they make the impression on you that most people want their product, you think, hey, most people want this product, so let me try it. And because you get social validation from others. For doing so, you want to keep on doing it. And that's how you develop a bond with that organization that provides this product. You go there for the product, whatever the product is, but the product is provided by them. But here's the thing, the product will not last. No product can. So eventually you have to contact them to fix the product. For example, you, bought, you purchased a smartphone. After a year, the smartphone breaks down. The smartphone was built to break down after a year. So then you have to keep calling the manufacturer for help. And that manufacturer tells you, you know what, we have a better model uh, right now. And because you already have a model of us, you can get a discount. You end up purchasing another model. So that goes on and on and on. So a corporate charlatan addresses an issue in the community and they offer a false solution and the false solution is meant for you to invest in them because you want this the false solution looks like a real solution to you and because you want this because you want what appears to you a real solution you invest in the people offering the solution and by investing in them you make them relevant but they become relevant at your expense because the solution they offer you is a false solution. It's not a real solution. There are even political parties doing this. A political party is not a government. They want to have government influence, but a political party is just that, a party. A political party is similar to a corporation. They have interests. They want revenue, financial revenue, and they want public recognition. So, those mega churches out there, they do the same thing. They address the fact that there's loneliness, there's sexual, sexual immorality, uh, or they address the darkness of the community. And then they come with a product, church service. They tell you, if you attend our church services every week, you'll be blessed. Or by attending our church, maybe not for, for, for always, but just for a while, you'll get valuable spirit, spiritual information. So you sign up, you go to that church, you become a member, you go there every Sunday, and every Sunday the pastor drops some knowledge to you and think, wow, I need to keep coming to this church because I keep getting information over here. But then you realize after a few years that you have to move forward in life. For example, about masculine and feminine balance. That's what they call uh, yin and yang in the, in the occult. In the occult, 
you'll have to study for years to figure out what yin and yang is really about. And now you attend this church, and in this church they decoded yin and yang in five years' time. The same amount of years you would need to learn it in an occult discipline. But then you go on YouTube and you have this believer decoding it in just 20 minutes. And then you could think, what? This individual decoded it in 20 minutes. And instead of using yin and yang, they use common knowledge to explain it. And then they also explain in the idiom called, called yin and yang. And you think, why did, I, why did I need five years to go to church to figure out about this? Why couldn't they tell it to me earlier? Here's the thing. That church is there to gain power over you. So they have to throw you crumbs to keep you coming. This is how it goes. Society neglects you. The neglect brings for dysfunction. You are, you, are, you are afflicted and affected by the dysfunction. And then you have the church coming up and saying, if you attend our services, you'll be better, you'll be healed. The dysfunction will be dealt with. And you end up going to church, you only get to relief every Sunday. Sometimes the pastor keeps preaching the same sermon every Sunday, but in a different way. And within 5 or 10 years, or even 20 years, you're no step ahead. You only became older, but you didn't become any better. So, years of your life pass by just like that, and you haven't moved ahead, you haven't achieved anything. The only thing that happened was that the mega church has been established by exploding you. Or let's say uh, it's a corporation that makes shoes. People need social inclusion. That's a human need. And then this company comes with a shoe and says, if you, if you, if you wear this shoe, you have a bond with other people. And then they show you commercials of people wearing the same shoe, spawn one another. So your brain picks up, hmm, social connection shoe with a specific brand. So your brain, your brain makes connection with this brand of shoes and social inclusion. So you now begin to see this brand of shoes as something valuable and relevant to you. Why? Because deep down inside, your need for social inclusion has been triggered. And you end up purchasing the shoe and indeed, because many other people wear the shoe, you do develop a superficial bond with them. But it's just a superficial bond. It's not an actual social inclusion. So eventually, you keep on purchasing shoes from that company because you think, hey, if I carry shoes from this company or this corporation, I have a good status. That's how brands work. For example, you can have a t-shirt that costs $1, but because you have a crocodile uh, symbol on it, you pay tw $20 or $30. It's the same type of t-shirt that you would otherwise get for $1, but because you have this logo on it, you pay $20 or $30 more. And what happens? Because you keep purchasing those expensive t-shirts, you establish that corporation as a social fact. A social fact is something that's true because people agree it's true. For example, you can say Nikes or Lacoste are elite brands. They're only an elite brand because people agree it is. It's just a corporation or a company that produces a product. So, that's how it goes. Corporate charlatans are there to gain power over you. They're not there to benefit you, even though they do offer products that will give you ease for a while. But that's it. They can only provide you ease. They can never give you redemption. They can never, ever give long-term solutions. Now, why is it that we often fall for corporate charlatans? It is because we are used to being fooled. Society fools you all the time. The government is the agent to enable society's scons. Society cons and scams you, and government is there to enable society. Now, government is open in wanting to have power over you. But society, which is this fear construct that most adults enact, this fear construct is only there because most adults are not renewed in their mind and they just want to flee from difficulties and issues in life. So because you have a whole crowd of adults wanting to flee, they need an agent to enable them, and the government is that agent. However, society pretends like the government is oppressing them, whilst really the government enabling them to oppress one another. So society always cons and scams you. So we're used to being fooled. We, we were told to believe that you need this this fiction called money that's printed on paper, and today it's on digital numbers on a screen, 
And people who have this thing called money have a right to, con to control you, have a right to mistreat you. And, you have, and they have a right to exploit you, and you have, just have to take it because you need a thing called money. And society makes it so hard for you to get money, you need to work hard, you need to work full time, or you need to get a business loan, but then you have debt. Debt is also something that actually doesn't exist, something we made up. We, society made up all those narcissistic constructs, and they convince you that you meet them, and you need to put up with all the exploitation and the threats to come along with it. So we are trained to be fools. That's why when the dysfunction caused by society begins to bother us, we want a way out. And because it's often too painful to see the full reality for what it really is, we fall for the quick fixes. So corporate charlatans can only succeed because we crave quick fixes. That is it. If we wouldn't crave quick fixes anymore, no corporate charlatan could, could even exist. So most of the corporations and churches out there wouldn't even exist if the mass didn't crave quick fixes. Now, there are some churches out there who are genuine, and some companies or corporations are legit because they're open that they just provide the product. But most of them come with this philosophy attached to their brand just to get power over you. Mega churches and multinational corporations, those are the elite churches and the elite corporations, they are all corporate charlatans. That is the only reason why they're mega churches or multinational corporations. It is because they are charlatans. So, do not be deceived. Keep agreeing with Christ. And remember, redemption is an outworking of renewing your mind. So, walk by faith. Be at peace.